Ça finit pour ce lien vidéo game pour ça, je vais la donner à la mienne. Ce vidéo game de Twitch Ouais. Ça, je vais tout faire. Or art, I mean. How did you get all your money then, Mark? Get all your stuff? They're just bought for me, presents, stuff like that. I have no money in my bank account. Like, I'm broke, flat out broke. I, 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 I have just enough money to pay my rent for another few months, and that's it. Uh, just because, just, just. Because I have a group, a circle of friends that I hang out with that are v just very are very wealthy. Yeah. And um. How do you know them? Pardon? How do you know them? Just just met them through parties and clubs and stuff like that, and like they like like quite a few of them like to be taken to art galleries and stuff like that. There, because I don't know, you know, they're sort of I don't know, maybe they relive their youth in me or, or somewhat. And so they always invite me to places. And oh, so they're older people. Yeah, they're older, older guys in their forties, late thirties, early forties, and stuff like that. And um, and they, they do a lot of stuff, and they just they invite me, but obviously I can't afford any of that. So they they just you know they always pay my way, which is always very kind of them. What you didn't sleep with any of them? Oh no, never, 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 never. They're just friends. Just just friends. Oh. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. And serious professionals and stuff, but they would just phone me up. So you always go for rich older men? No, no, because I don't date them. I'm just friends with them. Yeah, but like your shoes and that. That was yeah. That was a that was a birthday present. From your ex. Hmm. That's from my ex while we were dating at the time. And he was quite rich, was he? Yeah, I I had no idea he was rich when we started dating. Oh, is he? Yeah. How rich was he? Uh, I don't know. I never asked him. Never asked him. Uh, I'm I'm more attracted to success and ambition. I like power. Powerful men attract me, like a moth to a flame. And and usually, money tends to go hand in hand with power and success. But yeah. But I've I've you know I've I've been out with wealthy guys. I've also been out with there are poor guys. The first love of my life was a penniless actor. Didn't have two pennies to rub together. But what I loved about him was his ambition, his drive to want to become an actor. To you know, it, in theatre yeah. and it, in the West End and stuff, he, he was he was so passionate about his art that that's what attracted me to it, to him. Yeah. That it didn't didn't matter to Hilla Bean that to me that we didn't have that, any money. Here's one of the regrets of my life. Shouldn't have let him go. And the guy that I want to see when I get out of here doesn't have any money. But he's a. It's amusing. Again, I'm attracted to his. His, his, um, his drive for music and p his passion in classical music and opera and I like classical music and opera so that's two things that attract me to him and physically I like him as well yeah so but that's if he's still single when I go out tomorrow he might have seen me on this and gone won't be taking any more air calls never know you never know it's been there for quite a long time though though hasn't it yeah we kind of, we had this on and off thing, more off, but because of me, because I was, my head was totally in the wrong space to provide anything to anybody. Why do you think you were like that then? Uh, I think just the breakup of my, with my ex in the last year was sort of like a domino effect that just crashed everything around me in my life. I had so many illusions wrapped around in my life, and the problem is you get, you get comfortable and safe in these illusions. And when they all break around you, and you're sort of exposing yourself to what you really are—not what you really are, but the truths in your life—it hit me hard, and it kind of it sent me in a kind of a, a dark spiral. Which is what I was saying earlier about this place. I need—I needed something in my life to escape from. And this place, was, you know, it was like a godsend when I got paid to come in here. Mm. The furthest thing possible from my life. But now. I'm looking forward to going back to my life because I've confronted each of my illusions, hopefully, 
the nature of my fears and got rid of them now. Yeah. I'm sure the first t first night back in my flat, I'd be like, <laughs> put me back in the house. Yeah. <laughs> then you're wondering. I've learned that I can't have any more bullshit in my life. It's a bit Gareth missing you, isn't he? Who? Your flatmate? Yeah. Yeah. I hope he'll be there tomorrow. All my stuff better be in my room when I get back oh there. Oh, God, yeah. I can see my friends pill... Because a lot of my friends want to borrow my clothes. And a lot of my clothes, I'll be quite happy for them to borrow, but there's certain items that they're not allowed to touch. Yeah. So your ex bought you your chair as well, your big brother chair. Oh, he's good, isn't he? He won it as well, because we're both massive Big Brother fans. But you got to keep it? Uh, it, it goes back and forth. Oh, is it? So, um, do you still speak to him then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on good terms with him, because... Uh, Annie. Not just because of Annie, but also because he's a really good guy, and just we just weren't right for one another. Yeah. Because I'm just going to say, can I have a phone? So I said, yeah, I'd like to... Like to tell Dave how much I enjoyed being in his company, how much I appreciated our friendship, how much he's always made me laugh. Did he and how much I've learned from him. No, I'm not really asking that. No, he left me. It's not a really cool thing to do. Can I ask you now? Yeah, you've had a brilliant time. Can I ask you to come to my wife and try I uh, come to my house and try and smooth my door over? I'd like to see you in action. I <laughs> see me in action. Uh, I'm, I'm nothing special. If anything, I freeze up. But I'd definitely, I'd definitely like to visit your family. I'd love to have you do it yesterday, wasn't it? Can I stay? No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. Looking forward to the meal as well. Uh, yeah, I've got time. I have to give you some dates. Mm. You were cougar layer, man. That was, uh, that was sticking in my memory for a long time. Yeah, what that a was great. funny, dude. What night that was? But me, you, and Steve O. Steve O didn't want to know at all. No, he didn't, did he? He was like, <laughs> Not putting that crap on me. Laminates. <laughs> <laughs> You're not putting yeah. that crap on me. He didn't want to know. He didn't want moisturizing cream on him. He didn't want no fake tan. Just wanted to be left alone. <laughs> Hold him all for us. I'm sure we had three bottles of champagne that night. We had two or three. Three. It was three between the three of us. No, no, it was two between the three of us. I remember it was, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a, it was plenty, wasn't it? It was great. What a gift. I'm all on McDonald's. You the they, they probably re they probably reckoned on some of the lads staying there, like having one or three, because we got every person out that you could possibly get out, didn't we? Yeah. They probably thought like five would be in there, five or four. <laughs> it's just the three of us. McDonald's, Big Mac, it's great. And I was so pleased they didn't take me to leave now after what such a great time I had with you. Yeah. Mm. It was fun. Yeah, we're going to make sure we, we stay in touch, yeah? Oh, we will definitely. Yeah, I want to keep in touch with, uh, I don't know, you know, like some of the guys in here I really like, but I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know how much time I really be able to give. Yeah, I'll keep in touch with everyone, I'll but definitely some send people I'm text. looking forward to more to seeing them out. Exactly. I'll definitely send texts to some people, yeah. you know what I mean, on a regular basis, and if there's something going on, I'll weigh up whether I want to do it or not. The reality of it is, for me, it's a little bit of an issue with the whole clubbing and all. I don't do that nah, stuff, really. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't want to go up, you know what I mean? Like, this rap, the rap party's different, because, like, you know, in one sense, it's thanking all the crew and all the staff, and it's just mm. being there for everyone. You know what I mean? I don't have to drink. I can just show up and, you know, have, like, you know, a couple of Cokes and leave after a couple of hours to show my face. That would be mm. fine. But, like, the thought of, like, everyone going out and getting hammered drunk in London or whatever, dude, I'm not into none of that. No, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that. I like going out with meals with people, going to bars, having a few of that thing. That's oh, I'd love that. That's my sort of evening. Yeah, well, that's exactly the same for me, dude. That's what we could do, you know? Yeah. I, I, I can't do the other stuff. It's like no, I don't get so. I, like, I don't mind in a controlled environment and stuff, but you know when yeah. people are going out to purposely get hammered drunk and drink loads yeah, of I shots and just, you know what I mean, go wild. Dude, I, like, for me, that's like a non-event because that's the whole purpose 